tiny. This is Bubbles and Chalks in New Zealand, mate. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, number 20. Okay, what has been happening? That's Jesse making making concrete outside. He's got a hammer and he's bashing bits of clay to mash it into concrete. Good stuff. Anyway. There's a lot that's happened. I've made notes so that I don't forget. That was the notes going off just then. So I don't forget what I've got to call out and what I've got to say and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the brew house. As we can see, as I spin around on my chair, ooh, that's weird, eh? Fuck, that's weird. Oh, it's making me dizzy. Uh, it's a bit cramped in here now, uh, because of course everything's in here. Uh, the garage has been empty since Sunday night, and the wife is still parking the car outside. But hey, I held up my end of the bargain, I got the garage empty for her so that she could park her car in there. Uh, what have I been doing in here? I have done a little bit of painting, just around the door, uh, a little bit of tidying up here and there, but last night I sat down and tried to work out my plumbing. So I have an HLT, my mash tun, and my kettle. And in the middle there, standing at the back, is hex, and there's a stainless filter there as well. So, I just tried to lay out everything, um, and try and work out where my pipes are going to run. Uh, my pumps will be underneath the, um, the bench, so they'll be the last thing to sort of go in when I work out where my pipes are going to be running, and, and where I can put a, um, a connection. I'll probably put a connection and drop a hole straight through the bench, so that I can put a pipe coming straight out and down. Now I've got these three-way um, triclover valves and the reason I'm using these is that allows me to open up every vessel and I can pump water from the HLT through absolutely everything. So it gives a really good clean down system that I can open up all the valves and water will pump through absolutely everything and then gives me some versatility to go shift over here, shift over here, shift over here etc. So that's the reason I went with those. It's just going to take a little bit of nothing out to work out where I need to put it. Work out obviously where I need to put some um, some no return valves. Uh, and oh there he is. Hello. Boys made some concrete down there. <laughs> hey. Hey. What? What? Oh yeah he's banging concrete. Good lad. Okay doing my video. Um, yeah, work out where my pipes come, my return that comes back into my mash tun, and all those little bits and pieces. Uh, I have elements that I need to sort out, so obviously I've got two elements that are going to be poking out of the back here. An element of my HLT, and ooh, there's a burglar, look at that burglar. So, I've got to work out where my wiring's going, so I think... Um, I picked up some stuff today to do my wiring, but I'll show that in the next Homebrew Wednesday because uh, some other, some other uh, waterproof um, plugs turned up as well yesterday. But I think I'm actually going to put my wiring through the bench and run everything underneath. Um, so yeah. Now, I've positioned things over the sink so that I know when you go changing things around, if you need to change things around, there's always something that leaks out. So putting it over the sink, everything's going to leak out into the sink. But as I said, I've got to try and work out, oh, pardon me, exactly what I'm doing. That was rude, wasn't it? Horribly rude. Back to me. Right. <clears throat> so, what else has been happening? Okay, there's a couple of things. Oop. Looking at me. Oh, that's one thing to look at. Here we go. T-shirts. Cheers, everybody that's been buying a T-shirt. Um, now, Tiny said that he had a problem with his nipples. Now, apparently, when Tiny got his T-shirt, um, his 
his nipples weren't in line with the rest of it. So if you get a t-shirt which makes your nipples go off centre, give me a yell because I've contacted Redbubble about it and said, hey look, I've got a t-shirt here where the logo has been printed off to the side and I'm not happy about it. Um, and we're trying to sort out a replacement t-shirt for Tiny. Um, but I would be interested to know if anybody else gets, it's just one of these t-shirts like this, like this. If your nipples aren't centred, you can either have a nipple moved to centre up the t-shirt properly, or give me a yell and I'll get back in touch with Redbubble and say, hey look, I've got another instance of the t-shirts not being printed properly. So we've just got to keep an eye on these people. So yeah, keep a lookout. Oh, and Tiny has his own t-shirts. So if you're after a tiny t-shirt, I'm not talking little doll t-shirts, I'm talking off tap brewing t-shirts. Um, so if you want a, a tiny t-shirt, jump to Redbubble as well. I'll chuck the link down here, somewhere. So uh, check out his t-shirts. He's also gonna be doing a wall of fame. Sweet. Got a shout out for the Brewski Brothers. Okay, um, last Homebrew Wednesday, no actually last weekend, I did a Harlem shake with the wife for um, uh, a beautician style Harlem shake and the Brewski brothers have done a craft beer Harlem shake. So check out those guys, check out their Harlem shake, it's great stuff. Uh, these guys are craft beer drinkers, subscribe to them, check them out, check out their channel, they've got a funky looking bar going on there, really well worth checking out. So once again I'll put the details down the bottom. Alrighty, let's do a hop update. Oh, look at the blackberries. Oh, they're jumping out at me. Don't spring back at me. Ooh, dang. Okay, what have we here? Look. We've got flowers. We've got flowers. Oh, look, lots of flowers in there. Yay. More flowers. Bit of a late bloomer. I thought possibly that... Um, that's a uh, hot plant, it had a botanical sex change over winter because last year it had heaps of hops and uh, this year it seemed to have none and they've only started just coming out. Now I think I've worked out what it was. If we look back here, look at that, it's just taken over and I think it's had too much room to grow so it hasn't had a chance to stop growing it's just kept on going and kept on going, in which case it hasn't been sent its little neuron indicator to say, hey, start growing flowers, it's time to start making hops. But finally, we do have some flowers. Oh, a little bunch of flowers that are starting to come out in there. Which is great, because I want to do a green hop brew this year, which means I'm going to pick the hops straight off the vine and throw them into the boil while they're still screaming. Ah, 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 hot, hot. Yeah, anyway, I want to do that. And because the flowers have come out late, it gives me a little bit more time to get my brew house ready. Sweet. Thank you, plant. Happy Home Brew Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a great week. Hope next week is greater. Hope the week after that is absolutely splendid. And I hope you got some really nice beer. So, cheers. Have yourself another one.